Okay, in this video, I'm going to just talk a little bit about ratios and give you kind of a general idea of what ratios are. Ratios. Okay, so the definition of a ratio is it is a comparison of two things. Now, to me that doesn't really make sense until you actually see a couple ratios. So, let me give you an example. Ratio is like, if you think about the classroom, you could say something like, we have 12 boys for every 10 girls. And so that's two things, that's boys and girls that you're comparing. 12 boys to 10 girls. So I'm going to use these little red and yellow chips. So let's say they have two yellow to three red. So that means for every two yellow you have three red. Two to three. And that's how you say it as a ratio. So now the two things that we are comparing are yellow and red chips. There are three ways to write ratios. One way you'll be using most of the time, but I'll show you all three ways. So you can write a ratio with a colon. So two yellow to three red. So yellow to red. You can also write it with the word two. So yellow, a little, little breaker in there. Yellow to red to be two, two, three. And then the last way, this is the way you'll be using most often. I'm going to write it in a different color so it stands out. Would be, it looks just like a fraction. So yellow to red, which would be two, two, three. In each ratio, the symbol that breaks, I'm sorry, the symbol that separates the numbers always says two. So two, two, three, two, two, three, and two, two, three. So that is your basics of ratios. What the main thing that you're going to be working on in the yellow belt packet for discipline two is equivalent ratios. So if you look at this right here, this is this is your most simplified form of the ratio. It's two yellow to three red. You can't break it down anymore because if you break apart the yellow then you have two red on one side and one red on the other. So the most simplified form is two to three because two and three can't be divided by any other number other than one. So now, if you have another set, you still have two yellow for every three red. So two yellow, three red, two yellow, three red. But you have more yellow and more red all together. So now your ratio becomes one, two, three, four, four yellow to one, two, three, four, five, six red. You built basically multiplied it by two. There's one set and there's a second set. So four to six, four to six, and four to Six. These are equivalent ratios, very much like equivalent fractions. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, but there's one more thing I want to tell you about ratios and why they're not exactly like fractions. So, with a ratio, you could say you can have a part to part, so yellow to red or you can have part to whole 
which would be yellow to all chips. So with fractions, you're always a part out of the whole. But with ratios, you can be a part to part. So red to yellow versus there are four yellow out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chips. So yellow to all chips would be four to ten. Because for every ten chips, you would have four yellow. And if you did red to all chips, your proportion, I'm sorry, your ratio would be six to ten. So main thing to remember, ratios don't have to be part out of the whole. They can also be part to part. Now I'm going to end that one right there. I think that's a lot of information.